are a celestial mystery. They are messengers from deep space itself. Time machines from the early universe. Comets could unlock the deepest secrets of our cosmos. If we can establish a correlation between amino acids on comets and life on Earth, that would be one of the most significant findings in, uh, in science. They threaten our very survival. We were talking about something the size of a mountain. So the amount of energy that this thing would release upon impact is devastating. Yet without comets, we might not be here. We may owe a great cosmic debt to comets because they may have been responsible for bringing the chemicals that we require for life to the Earth. streak of light across the sky. A passing comet is an astonishing sight. They're beautiful. These fuzzy glowing balls with the tail coming off. It's really something. You just don't get to see an object like that very often. Comets are extraordinary. If you get to see a comet for the very first time, it'll stick with you forever. The journey of a comet as it sails through the solar system is the most fantastic of all astronomical objects. It loops in toward the sun from the depths of space, an odyssey that can last millions of years. Many pass by the Earth so often, they're almost like old friends. Every comet is a frozen mass of rock and ice several miles across. But all we see is a glowing ball of light and a long sweeping tail. Yet comets are more than cosmic fireworks. They could help unlock some of the deepest mysteries in science. We're trying to figure out as scientists where we came from. And, and that means everything from the beginning of the universe to the beginning of the solar system to how life started. Comets really fit into that. They really give us clues about how the solar system formed. If we can't understand comets, we don't understand how we got here. Comets may even be the source of life itself. We may owe our existence to the fact that comets billions of years ago came to Earth and, and brought the necessary ingredients for life. They can also cause enormous destruction. Comets could kill us all. If a comet were to hit the Earth, watch out. It would be a planet buster. It would be an object sufficient to wipe out all life as we know it on the planet. Learn about comets, and just maybe we will learn how to survive them and begin to understand how the universe works. When we study them, we're learning what the solar system was like when it was first forming. And we can learn about what other solar systems were like as well. And hopefully that will teach us a tremendous amount about how stars form and how planets form and, and how comets themselves were originally formed. Comets date back to the birth of our solar system four and a half billion years ago. They were made by the same force that created the solar system, gravity. It began in a maelstrom of chaos. A giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed to form a whirling disk. Close to the sun, it was burning hot. 
but further out, it was cool enough for gas clouds to condense and freeze. Ice crystals fused with grains of dust. They slowly pulled together into larger and larger masses. Over time, these sort of snowballed, like a snowball rolling downhill, picking up more and more and more material. Eventually, they formed gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. But not all the debris in the disk turned into planets. Trillions of lumps of dirty ice were left behind. The comets. You could almost think of comets as sort of the frozen leftovers of the, uh, the formation of the solar system. They are almost unchanged to this day. They're pristine time capsules, and if you could crack one open and see what was inside, you could literally see what the solar system was first made out of. That's remarkable. But the comets did not stay put. Several hundred million years later, the solar system plunged into turmoil once again. Encounters with debris pulled the gas giants out of position. The giant's immense gravity then hurled comets in every direction, flinging trillions of tons, flinging trillions of tons of material from the dawn of the solar system into the cold outer reaches of space. Some comets settled in a region 4,000 million miles from the sun, the Kuiper Belt. But most were tossed even farther out to form a giant sphere around the entire solar system. We call it the Oort Cloud. This is a region of our solar system that's farthest away from the sun. The sun is just a tiny little dot, one of many stars. And the whole area of space around you is virtually empty. There's nothing there, very little. And just occasionally you'll find the odd comet floating out there in deep freeze, cold, dark, and very much alone. In this remote ice cloud, there are more than a trillion comets. They can take millions of years to orbit the sun. But they don't always stay here. The orbit of every comet is a delicate gravitational balance. The smallest nudge can tip the scale. Most comets spend their entire lifespan billions of miles from the sun motionless, inert, simply waiting for something to happen. But then, perhaps, a random collision takes place. Perhaps a passing star nudges it. And then the gravitational force of the sun inevitably pulls it toward the inner solar system. Gravity, the force that created the comets, then flung them to the edge of the solar system, now pulls them back in. Our comet begins its epic odyssey to spread life, or death, across the solar system.